The mountain goats are right here and they're moving up the hill toward my trail. So I'm trying to hurry and cross them before they get to my trail. to my YouTube channel. This is yet another video of me, a schmuck, going on an adventure, and for some reason, you are watching it. <laughs> I am back in Washington now. If you watched my previous videos, I got home from Phoenix just a little bit ago. This will be my first adventure on YouTube since being back in Washington. And today I'm going to one of my favorite areas in the whole state of Washington, and that is the Mount Baker Wilderness. Mount Baker and Mount Shuxon are like my favorite mountains in the entire state of Washington. We're gonna be doing a little evening hike, maybe catch the sunset up there. Yeah, welcome to the PNW, welcome to Washington. Let's get in the mountains, let's go do some exploring. Final destination. I'm up at Artist Point parking lot right now. And I would say that there's a very strong argument that could be made that this parking lot, this area right here, Artist Point, is the best view in Washington state. I believe there's a very strong argument for that statement. So for me personally, I think it's the best spot in this state. Let me know in the comments what you think and we'll battle it out maybe. <laughs> Mount Rainier definitely has a very strong case as well, but I don't know, man, just being between these two peaks, Baker and Shuxton at the same time, you can look left, Shuxton, look right, Baker. That's hard to beat for me. That's very hard to beat for me. Today, I'm gonna to be doing the Ptarmigan Ridge hike. It's magnificent views. I've done it a few times before and I've actually backpacked out here once. So uh, I'm pretty familiar with the trail, but it is one of my favorite trails up here because it just views the entire time. You're above the tree line the whole hike. So you literally just have views along the ridge for the entirety of the hike. It is spectacular. So I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna stop boring you. Let's get on the trail. <laughs> Onto the trail. So that ridge is where I'm heading. Up and over that ridge and then back behind that way. Let's hope we can make it. Looks like there's a lot of snow still, but hopefully we can uh, still get across it. <laughs> Look at these views. We gotta go all the way up on the top of this ridge and then over that and we keep going. Hopefully, if the snow is not too bad. I have been thinking of doing this new, uh, perhaps like a new segment in my YouTube videos. I don't know what to call it yet. Maybe like Bible thought of the day or Bible trail thought of the day or something. I'm not really sure what to call it yet. But when I'm out here in nature, man, that's when I feel closest to God is when I'm out here in his creation, his beauty, 
And so I'm always just thinking about different scriptures or different readings that I've had. And I felt like that'd be kind of cool to share that with you guys while I'm hiking on the trail. So I'm gonna do that in this video. Let me know what you think of it. But so for today's trail and today's adventure, the Bible thought of the day, where it says in the Bible that if you seek the Lord, he will be found by you. It doesn't say he might be found by you. It doesn't say he might come and meet you. He might draw near to you. It says he will. It is a promise and it is a guarantee. And so that leaves the ball in our court. The Lord has his end of the promise that he will be found by you if we seek him. So the ball is in our court now where we have the choice to seek him. We have the choice to pursue him. He gave us the freedom of choice so we can decide if we do or don't but at the end of the day, it's our choice. And if we do decide to seek him, he will be found by us. He will draw near to us. He will reveal himself to us. And that is an awesome and crazy thought that the creator of the universe cares enough about you and I that if we chose to seek him, he will reveal himself to us. An incredible thought. Just an awe-inspiring thought. And so, for me personally, the best way that I seek him and where I see him the most and where he reveals himself the most to me when I'm seeking him is through his word, reading the Bible and praying. If I'm reading the Bible and I'm praying every day and I'm seeking him in that way, he draws near to me and it just starts to change you every single day. You just build on it. It's like working out every day to get strong. You build on that seeking every day that relationship gets stronger and stronger. I just thought that was super cool, super encouraging. And so yeah, that is the Bible trail thought of the day. Maybe a new segment I'll start doing in these videos. And sorry for huffing and puffing, we are climbing. <laughs> we are working. Still have a good amount of snow up here. But the views are fantastic. And in its own way, this is like another way that I seek him. Just getting out into his creation, his glorious artworks, and just enjoying them. He created this for us. I mean, just look at this. He created this for me, he created this for you, for all of us to enjoy. Honestly, just incredible. Okay, so we started over there. Made it up onto this first ridge here. Beautiful views. And now we gotta go up and over that ridge. Let's keep it rolling. Ooh, that part's gonna be fun. <laughs> Hey, how you guys doing? Good, good, how are you? I'm good. How is the snow crossing? Is it pretty? Yeah, it's, it's a little like slushy, but it's not too bad. Not too bad? Yeah. Okay. You, there's, uh, the, the first part, you can go up on some rocks on the side too if you want, but... Okay. This should be too bad. Let us wait, but not bad. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. I said it wasn't that bad, so... We should be okay. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, boy. <laughs> It's definitely way worse than what it looks like on here. It's just kind of like a straight up and down slab of snow, but I think we can do it. Just gotta be careful. Because if not, I'll end up way down there. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be way down there, so. <laughs> Okay, I made it across. <laughs> it's a little bit slippery, that's for sure. And we are now on the second ridge of this hike. That way over there was the first ridge. This is the second ridge. And then we got that ridge. That's the third ridge. And that's kind of like the last one. And then you get up to like 
the lakes across that ridge. And then I think you can continue on, which I've never gone past that. So I'm gonna hope to do that today. Unbeatable in my opinion, like nothing beats it. Nothing in Washington beats this view right here. Just panoramic, Shuxton, Baker. So that's the trail we came in on. Now we're way over here on the second ridge, Shuxton and Baker. Now we're heading up onto that ridge. So this last ridge is definitely the steepest one. Woo. Definitely getting my cardio in for the day. <laughs> That's for sure. Top of the ridge is like right here, so. And then once we're on top of that, we're gonna have a glorious view of Baker. So there's the legs way down there. Still pretty covered in snow. But once that snow melts, it's a super cool spot to go backpacking. And then beautiful Baker, right in your lap. Okay, we have made it to the third ridge. I mean, just look at that view. I love it. It's so beautiful. And then down there are like the lakes I was talking about. Kind of hard to see them right now they're covered in snow still but that's where i backpacked went down in there set some tents slept down there it was a glorious backpacking trip so this point in the trail is actually as far as i've ever been on this trail but it keeps going up and around and somewhere up there i think so uh that's where i'm gonna try to go today and just actually finish this trail like the whole thing officially so let's keep going <laughs> So the trail goes all the way up into there. So we have a ways to go yet, but it's only 6.30. So we have three hours of daylight and I do have my headlamp, so we should be okay. It goes a lot further than where I've stopped at last time. So it would be nice just to be able to knock this whole trail off because I hate leaving trails unfinished. I wanna be able to say, Yes, I've hiked this entire trail. <laughs> I'm just OCD like that. So hopefully today will be the day that I can knock this whole trail off. It's a dang herd of mountain goats. <laughs> Look at them all. Just hanging out way up here. <laughs> I think that's probably the biggest herd. Do you call them herds? The biggest herd of mountain goats that I've ever seen. I've never seen so many all clumped together like that. Usually I'm only seeing like three to four. There was like 12 of them right there. Just all hanging out. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet to see that. But we are now on the other side of the ridge. So when I was showing you guys the lakes, I was over on that ridge. So I guess technically this is now the fourth ridge. This is officially the farthest I've ever gone. And this continues to go right up underneath Baker, it looks like. Potentially at the end of this, I'll literally be like at the foot of Baker probably, which is just gonna be crazy. I will admit it's slightly intimidating being way out here like this all by myself. I haven't seen anyone else this far because this is extreme terrain. Very extreme terrain, pure wilderness, so but I do enjoy it, the views are spectacular. Gotta go straight up this rock, it looks like. That should be fun. <laughs> Even amongst as harsh environment as this, 
life can be sustained. It's crazy. Just a beautiful flower literally among just boulders. Life is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So you can see the trail kind of like right there. It goes all the way up that. So we still have a ways to go. Okay, we are to that spot that I pointed to earlier. Just gotta get up over this ridge. Just gotta get up over this ridge and I think we'll be pretty close, man. I mean, just look at the views I get while I'm hiking. Incredible. Came from way over yonder. Feels weird doing this just on a Tuesday too. <laughs> just a Tuesday after work. And I get to climb in these mountains like this. That right there makes me so grateful for where I live. It's Tuesday. I work today. I work tomorrow. I can just gallivant out here after work and just hike among these insane views. That's blessed. I'm so grateful and so blessed to be able to do stuff like this. Oh no, got another snow crossing here. This one looks a little sketchy. It's kind of falling away right here. I don't know if I feel comfortable crossing that. I might be able to go up this way and around. Can't, doesn't really seem like it on this, but it is steep right here. But I think I prefer doing that than risking on that. So I'm gonna go this way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at that. That is unbelievable. This is by far the closest I've ever been to Mount Baker. Look how vast it is down there. Look at that glacier. A massive glacier. Oh my goodness. That is fantastic. Just had a few snacks, get the energy back up. I can't get over this view, man. It's just unbelievable. And not only this, it's a 360 degree view. Look at all this over here. It's truly spectacular out here in the Cascades, man. It's so good. I love it out here so much. Woo, this is sick. I'll try to give you guys a panel, like a close-up panel of all these peaks. I'll give you guys a close-up panel right now. Okay, unfortunately it's about that time. Gotta say goodbye to Mount Baker. It's almost 7.30, so it's gonna be dark here in about an hour and a half, and I'm still about six miles out here. Got a ways back. So I gotta say goodbye for now. Make my way back to the car. Uh, we gotta go all the way back on, over all these ridges. That little peak, that little tabletop, that's where my car is. And I'm way out here. <laughs> I gotta hike all along this, wrap around that, and then do those three ridges back, and then down a mile to the parking lot. So thanks for having me, Baker. It was my pleasure. It's always great seeing you. This is a fantastic, fantastic view. But I'm gonna start making my way back to the car, and hopefully we beat the sun. I don't wanna be hiking out here in the dark. If I have to, I have to, but. I probably won't be filming much on the way back. I might just put you guys away so I can just speed run it, try to get back as fast as I can, and maybe I'll just check in with you guys on each one of the ridges. The mountain goats are right here, and they're moving up the hill toward my trail. <laughs> and there's like 20 of them. So I'm trying to hurry and cross them before they get to my trail because they lollygag, man. 
if they're on my trail, I could end up having to wait like 15, 20 minutes from them to, for them to pass. I don't have 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm trying to cruise and beat them. They're just below my trail. <laughs> I think we got this though. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we beat their cross. I don't know if you can see them on the GoPro, I'll get my phone out, but they're grazing up this hill, heading right for the trail. They for sure would have cut me off if I didn't run that. And I would have been waiting probably a good 20, 30 minutes for them to cross. There's so many of them, but let me get a clip for you guys on my phone real quick. Look at all those mountain goats. So many of them. And look how close they were to my trail. It looks far in here, but they're going to be there pretty quick. They're going up the hill pretty quick. See them trudging along. And so I had to beat them to cross this trail so they didn't cut me off. <laughs> What a view that is though, my goodness. I see now they're already pretty much on my trail. That is epic though, look at that. That is so epic. But all right, I'll leave them alone to migrate back to their den for the night. And I gotta keep making my way down because I still have a long ways to go. It's almost 8 p.m. now. Man, that was special. <laughs> that is a massive amount of mountain goats. I've never seen so many in a group like that. But let's keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Goodbye, mountain goats. Have a good night. And <laughs> yeah, they're on my trail now. So, I mean, I beat them by like four minutes. That's crazy. I barely beat them. I'm happy I did though. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, on the back of that first ridge, I was all the way up there. Came down all the way over here, wrapped around by the goats and down this. I ran that whole thing, so it took me only about 30 minutes to get back to here, so we still have a good ways to go. <laughs> this next section from this ridge to the next ridge, it's gonna be a little harder to run because it's a lot more just rugged. Not so much a running trail. That trail there was pretty smooth. So fairly easy to run. This section isn't as easy, but I'll try to run it the best I can. And that's where I'm heading, down that way towards Shuxon. So that's where I'm heading down, and I'm gonna be heading down to that ridge now. All right down to the second ridge that's where we just were there's shucks and beautiful as ever sun is setting and we still have to go down to that ridge and then the next ridge and then down like another mile so <laughs> this is a long hike very long hike but this is the best time of the day to hike in my opinion either sunrise or sunset it's the best time to hike so i'll probably be coming out in the dark which isn't ideal but it's not the worst thing in the world because i can enjoy these amazing views while i'm hiking out give you a little bit better idea my last check-in i was up on top of that ridge came all the way down this and now i gotta go all the way down 
to this ridge and then it kind of valleys a little bit of a saddle here up to that ridge and then it's about a mile from there back to the parking lot behind that hill so we have a little bit of a ways yet to go but we're doing good feeling good doing good it is 8 16 we left the top at about 7 25 so we've been hiking back for less than an hour and we've already come all the way down we're way up by there so we're making good time feeling pretty good about it let's just crank out the rest of this way get back to the car now we're back to this hill this snowy hill <laughs> <laughs> that is so fun. Well, this part is not fun. This is that steep part. If you go, you're going, man. Toodaloo down in the valley. Look at that view, though. Oh my goodness. Such a fantastic view. We are on the home stretch now. Holy crap. Just came down from that ridge. That was the last time I checked in. All the way down this. And now I have to go down this little saddle and then up and then over to the parking lot. So we're getting close. We're on the home stretch. Probably like two miles left. But how humbling and blessed is this moment right here. Thank you, Jesus, for this moment. Thank you, Jesus, for the sunset, for this day, for this creation. I praise you, Lord. I give you all the glory. Everything's because of you. So it's all for you and all the glory to you in Jesus' name. It doesn't get much better than this, folks. This is spectacular. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. last mile into the parking lot it's a lot darker than what it looks like on this camera but we still have a decent amount of daylight left so we made fantastic time coming out of here and now we just have to go along all of this back to the parking lot right there the sun is down the air is getting a little nippy and then the smells oh the smells are so so good nothing beats the smell of sunset man some people might, might be like what are you talking about man what are you talking about bro the smell of sunset if you know you know just the clearest cleanest air you could possibly breathe right here <laughs> successful hike we officially finished the whole ptarmigan ridge trail i'm gonna head back down head back home get some food go to bed and then i'll be back to work tomorrow morning so just a typical midweek after work hiking send and it was awesome so i'm gonna end the video here so as always thank you guys so so much for watching it means the world to me that you guys are interested in my adventures interested in my videos my content so thank you guys so much if you want to continue to see my random adventures in the pnw whether it be hiking camping golfing whatever it might be i'm just going to post videos that i enjoy recording post videos of my everyday life so if you're interested in that be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those but yes thanks for coming along successful hike i'm out of here i'm tired i need food and sleep so i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.